Senators are holding the first hearing on the suspected Chinese surveillance balloon that flew over a number of states before fighter jets shot it down off the coast of South Carolina. Montana Senator John Tester, whose state was traversed by the balloon, questioning top Pentagon officials, who now say four other Chinese spying balloons flew over sensitive sites in recent years. Either this is no big deal in the military's eyes, and I don't think you're going to say that, um, or there's not a consistent plan on how to deal with them. Senior U.S. officials say those previous sites were near naval bases in Hawaii, Texas, and Florida all undetected at the time. Sources say Beijing has a fleet of these types of balloons and that they had sent the airships on missions across five continents and 40 countries, spying on military and other sensitive facilities. All of our strategic assets, we were made sure that uh, we were, were buttoned down so that we didn't expose uh, any capability unnecessarily. After the U.S. shot down the Chinese balloon, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin tried to contact his Chinese counterpart, but the Chinese Ministry of Defense denied his request, calling the U.S.'s actions irresponsible. Republicans have criticized President Biden for not shooting down the spy balloon sooner. It defies belief that there was not a single opportunity to safely shoot down this spy balloon prior to the coast of South Carolina. But President Biden defending his decision. The idea that there was a dereliction of duty, is, I think, is, a, is a, bizarre, a bizarre notion. Meanwhile, in the House, members voted unanimously to condemn China's use of a balloon to spy on the U.S. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington.